What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Montana State Dynasty on NCAA Football 06. And today, we got ourselves the off-season video, and we're going to have to have a pretty good off-season, I would think, because, uh, you know what? We kind of sucked last season going 3-9, and nine, so I'd much rather, you know, have a winning record. And uh, I think that might take some serious recruiting here, I would assume. Uh, I don't think I've done the best job recruiting throughout the uh, the series so far, and that's probably why we had a bad season. But we're looking to turn it around, and that's going to start with the offseason. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, for school budgeting, actually last time around I got a comment about how to uh, what, what percentages to put where in the school budgets and whatnot. But unfortunately, uh, he was only telling me about, I think he was six wins or more and then 10 wins or more. Um, we, we did not do that at all this season, but I feel like I'm gonna put a lot of it into, um, into recruiting because we really do need some uh, more players. I do want players that I have to develop, especially guys like Jake Munoz. I think he's got a lot of potential. Uh, I also know that I should put a lot towards discipline uh, because after that first season, we got the uh, the suspension or whatever it was um, for two seasons. So don't want that to happen again, but we got to have some good players on this team. All right, now on to players leaving. First off, we got Pat Alford, a free safety here for us for two seasons. He had three picks his first year here. Didn't do much the next season, but still a solid player. JoJo Henderson. That's right, this is going to be the last class of some of the real players in uh, Montana State. Now we're all going to have uh, uh, CPU-generated players, I guess, and whatnot. JoJo Henderson, he's good for the Bobcats, and he was good for us here. Connor Wood, he's going to be leaving with a uh, first team all, not all pro, this isn't the NFL, but uh, first team Big Sky. Good season there for him. Josh Hill, outside linebacker here. Uh, he was always solid for us. He didn't always do a lot. He had one interception, four sacks, a fumble recovery, but he was always a solid linebacker for us. Van Smith is going to be leaving. Uh, he had one catch for us. He was all the way down there on the depth chart normally. Jordan Gibson, I okay, I didn't even know we had another fullback on the team, uh, but he was there. Caleb Sanders, okay, we had a lot of guys transfer from junior colleges, I guess. He, he was 0 for 1 in his career for us. Jacob Hadley, an, a, a real player here. He had a total of 5 catches, 71 yards, and no touchdowns. Uh, but he he was on he was just low on the depth chart a lot. Chase Benson, I believe he's a real player. Uh, he got four sacks and a forced fumble. You got Porter here, the right guard who literally never did anything. And then you got Callahan O'Reilly. He's pretty solid for the Bobcats. I don't know why his overall is so low, uh, but he did get a couple tackles for us. And then finally, you got Byron L Rollins, somebody else who didn't do anything. All right, on to the recruiting process. Time to get some good players. Well, recruiting has uh, come and gone. And uh, let's just say it did not go the way I wanted things to go. I must be doing something wrong when it comes to the recruiting. Because I only seem to be able to get like five players every time. And that's one reason we we sucked last year. Is because, you know, only getting five semi-decent players. So... I mean, if you want to leave it down in the comments section, if you're more experienced with this game or just know know the recruiting process better, let me know or link a video or something because I'm doing something very wrong, it seems. Uh, we did get a couple of good signings, including Marcus uh, Rudolph there, Randolph, a middle linebacker. Uh, so I'm happy with that. And then, of course, we got Nick Brown during the in-season recruiting. I went after this tackle here, and I was on top of his list for a while. Looks like he went to uh, Wyoming, though. This free safety ended up going to Washington. Andy Garcia, quarterback I went after because I went after quarterback, man. I went after three different quarterbacks pretty hard. Uh, you'll see the other two here because I really don't want to go into another season with Matt Ransom or Chris Harris projected to be the starter. Um, Andy, Andy Garcia, though, why does he go to freaking uh, Weber State over Montana State, though? Like, 
they were worse than us last year. Granted, their one win of the season was against us, but still, we had a better record. They had one win, and uh, we had three. I also went after Steven Vaughn. I thought he would be pretty good. He was the first quarterback I went after, actually, with that A- minus arm strength and pass accuracy. Unfortunately, he ended up pretty early on committing to uh, Colorado State. I went after this free safety. He went to uh, Eastern Washington. I got a guard here in Guy Gore, so I guess that's nice. And I went after this other quarterback. This was my second option, but... Uh, uh, it looks like he ended up going to Air Force for some reason. Uh, I did get an athlete here, though, with John Spencer. Always like getting at least one athlete every year. Unfortunately, uh, I don't know if he'll be able to uh, to play quarterback for us. But, I mean, look at this. These, these are our signings. We got four guys. Next guy over, Air Force. Look how many. They, holy cow. Why'd they need that one? Why'd they need this guy? They get all these other quarterbacks that they got. They got like four or five quarterbacks that they got. Like all these other teams just have so many more players. So I must be doing something wrong. I don't know what it is. So if you want to tell me, that'd be awesome. Because, you know, our team could be better then. But, uh, yeah, look at Wyoming there. Even look at, uh, I always like looking at the Grizzlies, um, what they were able to do as they are our biggest rival. Look at this. They got a receiver, a safety, a couple more receivers because why not? They got a crap ton of defensive tackles. My gosh. Look at that. Uh, and then a guard there because why not? And I, I, I must be doing something wrong because look at this. They got four or two four star recruits there, three three stars. And like, I can't get crap. So. Um, hopefully we're not going to be in for another rough season, but, uh, I guess hopefully next time around I can actually, uh, do a good job at recruiting. That would be nice. And also, what are these guys doing? Like, Drew Wilson here, he seems to be undecided, I guess. Does he, is he still going to come to Montana State here? Is he going to go to Montana? Is he not going to play football? I don't know what happens with these guys who haven't made any decision at the end of recruiting time so yeah i don't know about that either whoa 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 okay so breaking news john spencer has 89 throw power and 80 throw accuracy is throw power better than matt ransom we do have seth cobb who is an emergency quarterback uh with his solid passing stats there but uh wow okay did i accidentally recruit a quarterback not accidentally, but I, I said I didn't think he could play quarterback, but uh, you know what? He might just be able to. He'd be a 76 overall at quarterback. That is where we're going to be putting him. Ladies and gentlemen, did we just find ourselves a quarterback? He's already a higher overall than Matt Ransom. He's a 76. Ransom is at a 74. He's not as fast. His awareness is a little lower. Um, he can jump better for whatever that's worth. He's better at tackling too. You know, is he going to be a Troy Anderson kind of a guy? Um, he's only six. He's six two. Weighs 199. Uh, his stamina is not great. That's not necessarily good for a mobile quarterback. His injuries also slightly lower than Ransom, but uh, we may have ourselves a quarterback. Taking a quick look at the improved players here, our punter has gotten up six overall points. He was pretty busy last year, so nice to see him, uh, you know, develop from that. Our right tackle, Adam Bushing, he went up four points. Ooh, Matt Ransom went up four points as well, so we might have a quarterback controversy maybe. I wonder where he went up in, uh, let's say his awareness went up three points, okay. Did any of his passing stats go up? His accuracy did go up too. 76 throw power is not great though. Um, but yeah, I, I, that's at least nice to see that he did get a little bit better. Jake Munoz also went up. Love to see that. He's probably our best receiver. Michael Ryan up to a 76. Harry Williams had a good season last year. He's a 72. Uh, some little linebackers going up. Tim Hughes, uh, Turner... 
just take a quick look through these because a lot of these guys don't really do a whole lot. Mike Anderson went up two points to be an 84 overall. Seth Cobb in his se senior season now is going to be an 80. Deshaun Ralph is also an 80, as is Gerard Anderson. Nice to see some 80 overall players there. Corey Rivara only goes up two points. All right. Brandon Ontario, he had a uh, he went up two points as well, as did Dotson, Jones, O'Brien. Just take a quick look through the rest of these. And then a bunch of guys who didn't do a whole lot. Okay, just taking a quick look at the players that are going to be redshirted this season. I figured, why not put a fourth string quarterback up there. I'm also going to put Devin Greco up there. This is actually his senior season, which I was unaware of. I guess he went to junior college in year one and two. So I'm going to make, I'm going to redshirt him because this is going to be Deshaun Rouse last season as he was not redshirted at all. So I would like some speed going into uh, season six eventually. And uh, I, I like how Greco can uh, give us that option with his 95 speed. Um, who else are going to be redshirting? This is a couple more players, including Nick Brown. That's the defensive tackle we got in the in-season recruiting in Season 4. He's only a 68 overall. I was kind of hoping to be he would be a little bit better, but uh, we got a lot of defensive tackles on the team. Uh, they're pretty solid, especially our two starters here with Ryan Atkins and Anthony Peterson, who are both uh, redshirt juniors. And so uh, I'm going to let them get uh, a majority of the snaps at defensive tackle. We're letting Nick Brown develop this year. And uh, also one more player, Tim Hughes, the sophomore cornerback. Last year I redshirted red Chris Bonner. And so now I'm going to give uh, Tim Hughes a, a turn because uh, he was okay last season when he had to come in. And so maybe try to develop him a little bit more. Okay, here is our schedule. This is what it's going to be looking like. We're going to be opening up hosting James Madison, then at UTEP hosting Rhode Island, and then at Washington State, and then the rest of the schedule. Well, you already know what it is, what it is if you've been watching much of this series because uh, for whatever reason, the conference opponents are in the same order every time. The only difference is uh, every other year you alternate who is home and who is away but uh you know what at least we can still play every team in our conference i like that about uh about this here well that's a wrap for this here video here the off season maybe didn't go as well as i wanted it to but we had some pleasant surprises hopefully we can be a little bit more competitive now going into season five of this dynasty Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate everyone who watches uh, this series and whatnot. And uh, I hope you guys are going to continue to enjoy it. But until next time, this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.